Hi everyone, I've just popped in to share a journal I've been busy making. Um, I thoroughly enjoy using these old book covers as you know. So this is an old vintage one with all the tea dyed papers. Beautiful um, deep green with gold. And then the lovely crocheted cotton lace all the way around. And the plain back. On the side here and amongst all the ribbons is a beautiful padlock and a key. I've just got them dangling in there. It's got beautiful patterns to it. Just thought it went pretty with the cover. As you probably see it better dangling there. Okay, so it's a one signature. It's eight inches tall by four and three quarters wide. And as I said, it's an old vintage tea dyed. And here I've got the craft hooks here, uh, reinforcing it all with a beautiful crocheted lace. Beautiful tag with the story begins, you can write on the back. And there's a couple of the smaller size ones here. Back to tracing them out and hand cutting them. I did buy a punch I was quite excited about. And then five days later the lady emailed me to tell me she had oversold them and I couldn't have it. So I was a bit disappointed but at least I've got a template there I can trace and cut around. And they just sit nicely in there. I've used a kit from a female's vintage garden I've had here for quite some time and have used before. And a lovely glassing bag here. Um, I got my definition stamps out. I wanted to stamp again and I love these ones. Well, it's love and the definition so they're all through out the journal. It sits there inside the little pocket. And the lovely doilies I make. And there's just a um, little page there, tea dyed on the back. It's my double pet, double tags. Sorry, I've had a couple of weeks of not feeling too flash, but I managed to get this one done, so I thought I'd have a go at filming. And they come out and you can just write little messages and of course write all around the tags. The glassing bag, got some lovely cotton crochet lace, a couple of rosettes and some muslin and some beautiful little heart stamps. I just stitched those down. I couldn't get the pier bulb pin to sit flat and I didn't want it digging holes and making marks in the tags. So I've just stitched it. Got a wee booklet here. And tea dyed doily. It's all um, inked and punched all the edges with the hearts, just a little extra writing. And of course on the back the envelope, the wee tag inside there. Just sits lovely inside the glassing bag. And some lovely shaped on the edges of the pages. And this one has the definition of door. Lovely card with the tea dyed on the back. Oh, so my fingers and thumbs, sorry, it's not been a good couple of weeks for me. Um, I've got stenciling on the top with the roses I like. Sort of squishy and baked and got that lovely crinkly sound. It's got a lot of writing pages, I've left blank just for that. Um, the lead definition. And I've got a doily impression here. Large tags I like doing. I've got a beautiful impression on that one. And I've made it into just a wee belly band with the word love. And the definition on this one is together. And a little wee, little wee ticket down there from the collection. They're all blank so they can be written on. And they just sit there as a stopper. On this side we've got the postcard as a wee tuck spot. And one of the lovely little tags just sits nicely in there and the pages also have the images have uh, definitions on them as well. Journey. The ribbon down the side I like doing. Another doily. A pink image. Green goes beautiful with the book. As you can see there's so many writing pages. Now the centre. Definition love, the door, 
And on this side, cherish. And plain on the back, lovely tea diet. And just sit in there. And then the two little ones also come out. And then just tuck that nicely inside there. This one's happiness. And the pages, this journey up the top. Down here we've got Cherish. There's lots of writing pages in it. It's the back of the large tags I like doing, and it's just a wee tuck spot in here. I have glued these ones down because they were starting to slide around, so just to make them a bit more secure. Happiness on this one, and it just tucks inside the glassing bag. I've dyed all my seam binding. There we go, this one will be for sale. I'll put the listing below for the Etsy shop so you can have a look. The leaves, just beautiful, really lovely old images, nice colours. Nice shape again. This one says love, and I've got the um, layering of the cotton crocheted lace, the flower, and the muslin. And the glassing, back of the glassing bag, and it has that lovely double heart charm on again. And just the same things in this lovely little booklet. The tags and back of the envelope in the doily. It sits nicely inside here. Double tags, beautiful images. And of course the wee tags all come out. I like using them in the journals. Lovely roses on the top. Back of the doily. And the last page. Got a tuck spot here. Card. It's a door. Fits in the glassine bag. And then there's a little tag at the back with the lovely roses on. And slides in and out of there. And the image, the definition together, and the wee heart and the name tag, and there's the wee key and the padlock again. So this is a wee cute one I've been working on. As I say, there's lots of space in there for journaling. This one is for sale in my Etsy shop, Treasures by Teresa L, which I'll put the link down below. Thank you everyone for taking the time to um, look at the video. I really appreciate the support. And Hello and thank you to all the new subbies I've been getting lately. I do appreciate the support you show.